football is back in season now and I'm wrapping up a workout at the lake. Check it out. Yep, I'm about to head back home. But I wanted to talk a little bit about going to the finish line. So I realized recently that there are things in my life that I was setting goals for and then right when I would get to a certain timeline or a finish line and I would see maybe I'm not as close as I thought, I would energetically begin to pull back and think, oh, uh, let me rate, lower the bar a little bit. Let me set that goal for next month. Let me move the date. And let me know if any of you do that or you felt yourself do that in the past where like you set a goal for maybe, you know, work a workout goal, a travel goal, a business goal, a writing your book goal, a spend more time with your family goal, get on dating sites goal, whatever the goal is. And then as you're getting closer, you notice, oh, I don't, for whatever reason, something happened, COVID happened, people came into town, other things broke down in the business. And so you start energetically pulling back. Well, you know, my daughter has started going to the football games at her school. And what I realized and noticed as I've been contemplating this, hi, who's here? Is in a football game, there are four quarters. There's a final date. And at third quarter, if a team isn't doing as well as they'd like, wouldn't it be weird if they just stopped and left the game? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't work right. What works and how many games have you seen where it turns around in the last quarter and there's like a comeback that is just, you know, phenomenal. And what I've noticed is that when I was energetically pulling back from goals as I was getting near the finish line and seeing, oh, I'm not where I thought I would be. So let me just pull back that I was creating a pattern of going toward goals, almost reaching them and energetically pulling back. And I realized watching the football games, that would be like stopping at third quarter and going, oh my gosh, you know, it's not working. So how about I just quit this game and save it for next game? Like next game, I'm really gonna go all in. But the thing is, there isn't a next game. <laughs> Life is now. Life is right now say hi and let me know where you're you're tuning in from so I've been playing life as though even though if I get near a goal and all kinds of things happened because that's what happens kids stay home from school you know uh, you lose some files you have to re-record something you have to do something new life happens but when I feel myself energetically pull back I go nope this is it Life is now, the game's still on. I'm going all in until the timeline of when I said I would go. Until that fourth quarter, I'm gonna go all in and then reassess. Then say, oh, okay, I didn't meet the goal or I didn't hit you know, what I thought. Or sometimes, thanks for the love, sometimes something really magnificent happens. Cause I stand there in third quarter looking at like, uh-oh, I'm not as close to the goal as I thought. And I go, okay, what else is possible? Game is still on. What do I need to do? How do I rev it up? How do I get going? What else is possible for me to hit this goal? And I play it full on as if, hi Nick, as if life is now, because guess what it is now? And what's happening is miracles, like new clients that I wasn't expecting, money you know, coming in that I wasn't expecting, fulfillment and life that I wasn't expecting because instead of playing it half in, half out, like saving it for the future, saving it for another day when I'm really just gonna be the best and do the best, I'm playing life as if the game is happening right now. Thanks, Rudy. And guess what? It is happening now. So I just wanna encourage you and have you think about how are you playing your life? Are you reserving energy for tomorrow's workout? Are you reserving it for, you know, when, you know, you're gonna write the book tomorrow when you're feeling really inspired or for the next go around when you're really gonna push. Hi, Christine, we've been in this together, haven't we? With this St. Lucia event, you know, even with this event, there was a time when we thought, 
okay, maybe it's not gonna go as well as we thought. It'll still be awesome. And we'll save these resources for the shows we produce in January. And then she and I are great partners together because we stand in, no, what else is possible? How can we make this the best event ever, the best moment right now? Like who else do we wanna spend time with? What other resources? And we have <laughs> so many more people and resources and it's like we get to live this awesome episode full on, really proud, and with amazing people, sponsors, experiences, because we chose to go all in now instead of saving it until January. Then when January comes, guess what? We'll be even more resourced and we'll make that super powerful. So just, you know, give me your feedback privately. Some of you do it privately or here, but how are you playing your life? And I hope this lights you up like it lights me up that this is the only moment and just like the football games that we're gonna watch today, let me know your team in the chats. I'm a, I'm a Cowboys fan, Dallas girl. But just like if the game is sucking third quarter, they don't walk off the team, they go harder. They play it like it's happening right now. That's the way I wanna invite you to play. It's the way I'm inviting myself to play. Hi, Amy, in life. It's all in, it's right now. Lots of love. Yeah, mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, bye everyone.